airborne for three decades now. And this is a huge, significant matter. The fact that the federal government has withdrawn um, a buffer zone, an attempt to create a buffer zone around a death camp. In all my years, I don't remember that ever happening before. So we thank God that that's happened, but while we thank God that that's happened, we also want to call upon all the magistrates of our nation to do their duty. Not just to stop what they were doing regarding this injunctive relief, but to actually defend the pre-born. Our founders established a federalism, and in a federalism, all offices, whether federal, state, county, or local, possess lawful authority. Rather, they all take their position. They need to defy the judiciary. When we are calling upon President Trump to defy the judiciary, we're calling upon the U.S. Attorney General to defy the judiciary, and we're calling upon Governor Bevin to defy the judiciary, the U.S. Congress, the Attorney General of the state, the county sheriff here, all have a duty to defy the federal judiciary and defend these helpless babies from being murdered. Western civilization understood for over 1,500 years that divine law trumps human law. So whenever man makes law, contrary to the law of God, is the duty of the magistrates to uphold God's law. They all took an oath to uphold the Constitution, not an oath of subservience to the federal government. Not a proposal to uphold unjust or immoral Supreme Court opinions. Therefore, they have a duty to uphold the U.S. Constitution and defy the U.S. Supreme Court. I'm from Wisconsin, and during slavery times, our state, both our state Supreme Court and our legislature, defied the federal government and the U.S. Supreme Court over the Federal Fusion of Slave Act and declared it in Wisconsin to be null void and of no authority. That's exactly what Matt Bevin and the legislators here in the state of Kentucky need to do regarding the Constitution. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, folks. Um, just on a personal matter, you know, when we come into the city, obviously, um, there's a keen awareness, there's a heightened atmosphere when it comes to our national sin and tragedy called abortion. A lot of things are set in motion, a lot of things are said and done, and obviously we have been going through some huge struggles on the legal front, and the good news is when God's people show up, and we begin to engage this battle in the heavenlies Amen. and on the streets, it starts to reach into the halls of power and amongst government entities. And it has reached all the way to the federal government who was the entity that unleashed this hell upon us in the first place. And to that, we rejoice. We have drawn the dragon from its lair and we're exposing the lawlessness of this federal government that under the color of law has allowed for the murder of the pre-born. And with a straight face, they say this is legal. This is the same Supreme Court, by the way, that years ago said that you can own another human being and you can use them However, and abuse the them. The answer is no. So the same Supreme Court that denied the right of liberty to our black brothers and sisters is the same Supreme Court that has denied the right to life to our most precious and vulnerable and weak amongst us. They were wrong back then and they are wrong today. We are not the lawbreaker. The Supreme Court is the lawbreaker. Yeah, that's right. We are the law keepers. Jesus settled the issue of law once and for all. What is the nature of law? Is it to save life or to destroy life? 
You have a conscience and you know the answer. And I don't care about the Supreme Court. They are not the supreme being. And every person who has served on that court, one day their knee is going to bow. And one day their tongue is going to confess Jesus Christ is Lord. He is King. That's right. And right now, this nation, this government is in rebellion to her King. That's right. And we will be held accountable. Now, having said that, we are very, very grateful for the turn of events because since we have come into this city, it started with the Metro Council. Just by hearing that Operation Save America was coming to town, they were attempting to implement a safety zone. And thanks be to God, they have failed in that attempt. And then the federal government. I mean, just think about, we got a space, we got, we got a, a public sidewalk, a little space. Think about the tax money that has been spent on these cases where our government is straining at a net, a line, a line on a sidewalk, straining at a net and swallowing a camel. Babies are being murdered and thrown away like a piece of trash under our watch. And they call this law. They call this legal. But it's an abomination in the eyes of God before all of us are going to give an account on that day. And so now the federal government has stepped in and they tried to remove our First Amendment rights instead of doing their duty to defend the life of those children. And thanks be to God, they have failed. They have stood down. And freedom has returned to those streets. And it's not an if, it is a when. That death camp is going to go the way of every bloody tyranny of men. They're done. They're over. They are history. In Jesus' name. Amen. Woo!